take the test board that came with a previous issue and just place it over the top of the four holes like so noticing that the test button is at the bottom and then taking the 6mm M2 screws put one in each corner screwing the test board down securely next unscrew the battery case and then making sure that the battery case is in the off position take four AA size batteries and place them in battery holder and then once you've done that screw that back down into position now take four pads take one off of each and placing one in each corner as you can see here and we're going to be doing four of those make sure that you don't cover the screw hole okay like so making sure that you're not putting that over the top of there once again doing exactly the same once you've done that then remove the backing and then and fit the battery case into there making sure that you've got this side with the open and the screw facing down and then just gently place that on there enough so that you can see the on off switch okay and then just gently push that together once you've done that take your power connector noticing how that goes place that down into position that way and then your other connector as we did before placing that down like so and then next we're going to be turning it on and testing okay so once we've done that we're going to test and by turning it on all the LEDs should light up and then that would leave us with just the one light and then you'll notice that the servo will turn 45 degrees to the right then 45 degrees to the left and then back centrally so we're just going to turn it on and see what happens okay now we're going to press the test and that completes this test so turn it back off again or you can test it again just so that we can see what it's doing Okay, and that means that we've got everything connected properly. Now, just turn that off and then put that aside, ready for the future issue.